breaking right now at 6 o'clock. We have a large police presence at two different scenes in Waltham. One appears to be a crash scene, and that is having a significant impact on drivers who are heading south on 95. We want to get right to WBZ's Brandon Truitt, who is live with the latest now in Waltham. Brandon? We are at the second of two locations that Waltham police seem to be working here. I want to take you in just through the fence line here. This is off Winter Street. It's near the exit of I-95. What we're seeing here is a police cruiser that has crashed into a work van of some kind. This is at the foot of someone's driveway. More on this scene in a bit. I want to take you to where this, from our understanding, started. About a half mile away from here on Totten Pond Road, there seems to be some type of working Scene, uh, some type of a construction scene that was happening here. We saw traffic cones all over the road uh, where a vehicle had crashed here. Police had been spending quite a bit of time here when something brought them about a half mile in our direction down the road. If I show you video from this second scene, this is new video that we're just getting in here of the aftermath of this crash. You can see what it's run into here. Again, this is the foot of someone's driveway. What we don't know right now is is what brought police here, how this vehicle crashed, who was even driving the police cruiser. We have a lot of questions, of course, on injuries as these multiple seams seem to be worked by Waltham police at this point. If we bring you back out live, you're going to see, again, our perspective here. Um, I can tell you that the city of Waltham is advising people that Totten Pond Road in this area is essentially in gridlock. They've now closed a major portion of it, as well as some of the off and on ramps to 120. We also understand that the Middlesex District Attorney's Office is getting involved in this. This is an incredibly fluid situation. We have a lot of questions. We're hoping to get updates. As soon as we do, we'll pass them along to you. We're live in Waltham. Brandon True at WBZ News. Right, Brandon, thank you for that update.